Lately, you may have seen photos showing up in Google Earth or mapped in Picasso web albums. The process of adding real location data to a photo is called geotagging and it's really quite easy to do. The hard way is to use Picasa to manually embed the location for each photo. You push the geotag button in Picasa and then you use the Google Earth crosshairs to set the location exactly. Doing that takes time and you're never 100% sure that you've got exactly the right location. The other hard way is to use an expensive, bulky hardware setup where your camera and GPS are physically connected in one device. Now here's the easy way to do it. You just need a digital camera, any camera, even your cell phone, and a GPS device, a cheap, portable GPS. Maybe you have one already, maybe your school has one. If not, you can get them on eBay for less than $100. Now how do you connect the two? That's the question everybody has, but the thing is you don't need to connect them. Your camera has a built-in clock, and the GPS gets the accurate time signal from a satellite. That's how it works. All you have to do is make sure they're synchronized. Now go out and take some photos. As long as the GPS is on and can get a signal from the satellite, you'll be fine. When you get back, upload your photos. I like to use Picasa 3. And then upload your GPS tracks. I think the best program is GPS Track Maker. And the best part, both Picasa and GPS Track Maker are absolutely free. Now your computer knows what time the photo was taken. This one was taken at 6 seconds after 4.22 p.m on December 27th. And if you looked at the GPS file on your computer, the computer knows exactly where you were at exactly that time when you took that photo. Now all your computer has to do is match those times up. And a free program called GPixSync does exactly that. It compares the time, then embeds the location in the photo. It can churn through a whole folder of photos in minutes. Then it does something extra cool. It looks up the location from the internet and embeds the name of the place you were into the JPEG data of the photo. When you get back from your vacation, you can search using Picasa by the name of the city. Now imagine the possibilities for students. Carry a GPS with you on a field trip. Or let a student carry it. A dozen kids can all take photos with their own cameras and afterwards the geodata can be embedded. Just make sure that their cameras are set to the accurate time. Talk about a great opportunity for an integrated technology lesson. This is a great learning opportunity for students in grades 2 through 12. It's a natural technology integration. And it's a great fit for latitude, longitude, map skills, all topics that show up at a variety of grade levels. Plus, it's an excellent way to include some hands-on technology in a traditional photography class or a way to include digital photography into a social studies class.